Alright, hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel here from Esatino Connections, and what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to be filming a, well, not filming, but doing a screencast tutorial. So what that means is I'm not actually going to be on the camera, I'm just going to be filming my screen and what I'm going to be doing on the screen. And I use a program called Camtasia, but there are other um, free websites that you can uh, use to do the same thing as well. So before I do a tutorial, I have to do some research and figure out what tutorial I'm going to do. So when I figure that out, I do some keyword search on Google and I find out, you know, is this something that I want to do a tutorial on? If so, then I write a script. So I write out what I'm going to say because for me, when I try to do a tutorial without anything, I tend to trip over my words and I get tongue tied and, you know, blank spaces here and there. So I like to prepare by writing a script and it actually says, hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jewel Tolentino. So I actually do write that kind of stuff out, it helps me. And yeah, I'm just going to get in and show you guys how I do tutorial. Alright, here we go. Now I'm going to warn you, I do get very, like I move a lot with my hands even though, you know, it's just a voice thing going on. So please be aware. Make sure my phone is on silent because I can't have any of those beats going on. And making sure Reed's quiet, she's behind the camera, right? Your phone's on silent? Yep. Okay. Alright, so here we go. Oh, and by the way, the tutorial I'm doing today is about the new Facebook graph search. And I've entitled it Facebook Graph Searches Here! Exclamation mark. Alright. I'm pressing the record. Just doing a countdown. I usually wait a couple of seconds before I start talking. I make sure to set up my windows uh, appropriately, so whatever windows I need open, so that I can just click to refer to them. I don't like taking so long to type it in. I like the tutorial videos to flow, so it's like I've got the pages open and where I need to go, or whatever I need to show people. Alright, here we go. Recording. Okay. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jewel Tolentino, and in this video, I'm going to show you the new edition that Facebook has created. It's called Facebook Graph Search. Alright, so what the heck is Facebook Graph Search? Well, basically, it's a customized search on Facebook catered to you. So, what that basically means is that if two people type in the same phrase in the search bar, it's unlikely that both will get the same results. You'll get different results. The reason why you're going to get different results is because it takes into account all of the friends that you have on your Facebook list. So, let me show you this baby in action. First, I'm going to show you Arit's Facebook because she hasn't converted yet to the new Facebook search. So this is the regular Facebook search here at the top. And yeah, it just says search for people, places, and things, right? You'll, you'll recognize that because that's probably what you have going on right now. Now let me show you mine. This is mine. So as you can see here, the search is a lot more prominent. They made it a lot bigger. And it, yeah, the, the actual bar takes up more space. So, okay, Facebook graph search. Cool, right? Well, what are some cool things that you can do with this search? Well, I did a little test here. And here are some cool things that you couldn't do before with the search. Now these, these what I'm saying right now, you can totally customize it 
whatever you want. That's the, the beauty of the new search. So I'm going to type in friends who have visited Italy. So I've recently, I recently went to Italy and if I knew that this search existed before I left, I would have typed in friends who have visited Italy and let me just press enter here. So you can see here, these are one, two, three, four, five, five of my friends who have visited Italy. So what I would have done before I left was typed that in and, you know, just message them and say, hey, you know, it says here that you went to Italy, uh, what are some things that you did there that I should try out, any cool places, any cool restaurants, any cool things for tourists, because, you know, I'm going to trust my friends, right? Um, because they actually went there, so you can you can do that with, with any place literally and another cool thing That you can do is I'm gonna type in friends who live in Montreal The reason why I'm typing that in is because Barit, the other half of Esatino Connections she has a show coming up, a uh, concert show in Montreal. Well, it's actually, we're going across Canada. We're starting in Victoria, British Columbia, and we're going all the way to Halifax. And if um, you take a look at Canada, that's literally from one side to the other. And I'm just using Montreal as an example. Um, so if you type in friends who live in Montreal, you can see all your friends who live in Montreal. And because she has a show there, you know, Arit's going to go in, type that into her search, it's going to be different from my search, type it into her search uh, once she has the new Facebook graph search, and, you know, message her friends saying that, you know, she's going to be coming into town, um, and invite them to her show. Now, it's, you're like, oh yeah, I already knew all my friends live in Montreal. Well, when you start having huge friends lists, over a thousand, you forget a lot of people that lived or they moved or wherever. So it's a really good tool. All right, so that's all I've got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video or subscribe to our channel if we helped you out in any way. And you can also feel free to subscribe to our newsletter where we'll send you daily, sorry, not daily, weekly tips and tricks that we've learned and we'll share with you. And you'll also get our free ebook for artists and performers. And as usual, feel free to email us at info at esatinoconnections.com if you have any questions. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Woo! That is a handful usually need to drink water after that. So now that I'm done editing, I save it, the screencast, I save it and then I go and edit it. Once I've edited it, I then go and upload it. Once I've uploaded it, then I create a uh, blog post on our website. Once that's done, I take the link with the blog post and the video and I post it to our fan page, we send it out to our email database and we tweet about it. So there you go, that is the process that I do when I am creating a tutorial video, that's exactly how I do it. Alright guys, well thank you for watching the behind the scenes of Esatino Connections and I'll see you in the next video.